Solana went down for about 20 hours. Of course, Solana is a proof of stake blockchain with significant investments from Sam Bankman Fried and Co. Uh, and they're kind of positioned themselves over the last year or so as an antagonist to Ethereum uh, in a lot of different ways. We've seen this most acutely over the summer months with the NFTs uh, kind of battling out between the two blockchain platforms. Uh, and then Solana had kind of a rough patch yesterday when their nodes uh, started forking, going down different paths uh, for about 20 hours and took some really technical engineering work to get the chain back onto the correct pathway. Uh, this was caused by uh, memory issues, according to some of the engineers. Uh, and it again, it took a lot of just work from a centralized engineering team to get this decentralized project back onto the right gateway. Uh, Solana, the token itself, is down over the last few uh, hours because of this. And uh, over the last few months, it's been on a huge bull run since actually January it was up like well over 70%. Uh, and so it dipped quite a bit on the news of its blockchain, just not performing at all. Zach, I want to throw this over to you. What does this story kind of tell you uh, from your position in the base layer uh, battle station? I hate to be a layer one apologist, but this stuff is hard. And I think that's what we saw yesterday, right? These are systems that are being uh, built in flight and sometimes they kind of mess up. And this was a big example of that that captured uh, a lot of attention yesterday. And yes, devs were scrambling at all hours of the night in a Discord channel to uh, unplug it and plug it back in. And it seems as though that has happened, um, but it's really, uh, it's good to be reminded that a lot of this stuff is somewhat experimental uh, and is still being, the kinks are still being smoothed out. So, um, you know, something to consider uh, before, you know, aping into Solana or any other uh, layer one token, but um, these are complicated systems trying to solve uh, complex problems relating to the world's financial system. And as uh, more people pile in, I think th I think what caused it initially was like a bot in like a token offering uh, that just, Took up a lot of took up a lot of memory or something, and uh, you know was was the stick in the spokes that caused Solana to crash. So, um, just an interesting reminder again that these these things are are nascent and new and crazy complicated. And uh, we got to watch it unfold in real time yesterday. Uh, you know, big shout out to Danny Nelson, our colleague, for uh, reporting this out uh, through the day and night on this one. So good stuff, um, Jen. I saw your hand up, and I'll throw it your way. Yeah, I have two questions. You kind of answered the first one, but um, okay, well, I'll ask you both and then you can just answer whichever one you want. So Solana is a coin that I think a lot of newcomers into the space are interested in. We see a lot of these people on TikTok, crypto influencers, if you will, educating people on Solana. What should they take away from a story like this? And I saw like Solana ETH drama happening yesterday amidst Solana going down. So what was that all about? Yeah, so to your first question, I think the answer is always do your own research. Every coin kind of exists on a spectrum of both decentralization and sovereignty with like ownership of the token itself. So you have like Bitcoin really, really far over here where that blockchain probably not going down. It's been up for 12 years. It's only had one instance in its very early days uh, where they had to do some like centralized rollback. It was like 2011 or something. Very... Uh, you know, very small amount of downtime. Over here, we have the other blockchains that are still like in production experiments. I think Solana kind of falls like not quite on the far, far experimental side, but it's pretty close over there. So if you're going to be buying that token, like you are agreeing to that roadmap and you are agreeing implicitly to the designs that the developers have. And if you don't know about that and the blockchain has some performance hiccups well that's on you for not doing the research and looking into it uh, every blockchain application has its own designs has its own developers has its own runway and you need to be aware of that beforehand uh, for the fireworks there was like some fireworks between the ethereum camp and the solana camp why that's most because solana camp and the Ethereum camp have become very antagonistic over the past year. Uh, I think, like I said earlier, the NFT summer has kind of really shown that where uh, Solana has tried to get NFTs onto their platform and it was mildly successful. And Ethereum was saying, well, we're the top base layer and they're, they're kind of going at each other because there's money and incentives on the line here. So I think that is technically why, but I mean, Ethereum has had three major malfunctions this year alone. So it's not something that they can really say like, hey, we've won this battle. Uh, they're both experimental chains. Uh, if you want something that's boring, you're going to keep 
building block by block, go look at Bitcoin. But that's all my thoughts on the matter.